What's up, Falling Spring Youth? I hope you're with your small group right now. And if you are, I wanna say you are in the right place at the right time with the right people. And my hope and prayer is that you're having a blast and that you're growing, growing in your faith, growing in your life, growing in your relationships. God cares about all of us. Uh, he cares about the, the whole of our lives, not just our Bible knowledge or how we're doing in prayer, but um, every part of our lives, especially as it relates to enjoying Him and bringing glory to Him uh, forever. So again, I uh, hope you're with your small groups and that you guys are having a great time. Uh, tonight I wanna to talk about remembering, uh, and then I wanna give you a passage in Matthew 5 and a couple questions to talk about in your small groups. Remembering, if you read the Old Testament, which is the story of Israel, they had this wonderful habit of remembering, remembering all that the Lord had done in their history, um, the ways that the Lord had loved them and proven time and time again his faithfulness to them, the ways that the Lord had protected them, had delivered them, and also had forgiven them after they had done really terrible things and forgotten God. Um, and they would remember, they would take these times, and there are still feasts in the in the Jewish tradition that are designed to help the people remember the faithfulness, the love, the grace of God. Uh, so tonight, I would like you and your small group conversations later to remember. Um, and so I want you to discuss this question in your group. And I will put this question in the description of the video. Can you remember a time in your life when God was especially real to you? When your faith, when your relationship with God seemed incredibly real? Can you remember a time that God really forgave you or protected you? Can you remember a time that God really worked through you? Um, feel free to answer any or all of those questions. Remembering. Next, I'm gonna to get to Matthew chapter five. I'm gonna read a few verses here and then ask you a couple of questions. And again, I'll put the questions for you guys to discuss in the comments or in the description of the video. This is Matthew 5, 13. And this is Jesus talking to uh, some followers of his up on a mountain. It's part of what's called the Sermon on the Mount, which is Matthew 5, 6, and 7. And he's talking about salt and light and how we are both. This is what he says. Let me tell you why you are here. You're here to be salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. If you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? You've lost your usefulness and will end up in the garbage. Here's another way to put it. You're here to be light, bringing out the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. We're going public with this, as public as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. Now that I've put you there on a hilltop, on a light stand, shine. Keep open house. Be generous with your lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God this generous Father in heaven. I'm gonna read that last part again. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous Father in heaven. Salt and light, what does it mean? Uh, that's what I want you to talk about in your groups. Try to figure this out. I'm not gonna talk much on it. Try to figure this out. So uh, a couple things about this passage. Pull out some Bibles or your Bible app and, and read this. Again, it starts with Matthew 5, 13. It's a section on salt and light. It goes to verse 16, Matthew 5, 13 to 16. Read those verses together again. What is one question that you have? Just write it down or, or ask your group. One question, as you read that passage, what's one question that you have? Ask your questions as a group and respond to them. The point is not to get all the right answers. The point is to ask the questions and have a conversation to help you deeper understand what Jesus was trying to say to, to the people back then and also to us. It's one question that you have. What is something that stood out to you? Now this is different than the question. This is something that as, as I read it or maybe as somebody in your group read it, something that stood out to you more than the rest. Uh, and maybe you want to even look over it on your own for, for a minute. Take a time and take some time in your groups to look over it. What's, you know, one part of that that really jumps out at you? And then why do you think that is? Uh, maybe ask your group members, why do you think that jumped out to me? So one question, 
one thing that jumped out to you, and then one thing that this reminds you of somewhere else in the Bible. So if something you read in Matthew 5, 13 to 16 reminds you of something else you've heard or read in the Bible, I want you to share that as well. That's it for, for what I have to give you this week. Um, and I hope that this really sparks some generous conversation in your small groups and that you guys grow and have a wonderful time. Uh, before I go and before I pray, um, let me pray first. Then I'll have one more thing. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for being a God of light, a God who wants to flavor our lives, to make our lives bring glory to you, that we can really enjoy you. Thank you for these words, this teaching from, from Jesus, Jesus, when you walked on earth, for us to be salt and light. I pray for these groups. I pray over them, Lord, and I ask you to help each person understand what you are trying to say to them, what you were trying to say to your followers so many years ago about living as salt and light. Open the doors of understanding. And I pray that all of us grow as we consider your words. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, thanks for listening. Final thing, if you uh, watched this far in this video, I want you to let me know. Uh, most of you have my, my contact information, so let me know. Um, maybe each of you or just one person from your group can let me know or just leave a comment in the video if you don't have my contact information. Second thing is, if you're actually watching this during your small group, um, I want one person in your group to let me know that. Um, just trying to get a sense of if these videos are helping you and if they're really being applied in your groups and so forth. So um, love you all and hope that, again, you have great conversations in your group and hope you enjoy this week.